All right, let's finish this up. First thing you'll notice is I have that little line right here that I used originally to lay out my seven and a half inches. So I'm going to erase that because that's going to get in the way. The next thing we're going to do is we need to trim around this stringer so that it fits on the top platform here. So let's go down underneath and I'm going to get so I can kind of see this area. Let's double click on my stringer because it is a group and I have to double click it to edit it. I'm going to use a line now and I'm going to draw a line here to this corner. Then I'm going to rotate a little bit so we can see this side. And I'm going to go from here straight up and make sure you go, make sure that stays pink like that. Come on. No. Let's try this again. There we go. Make sure it stays pink and then click there. Now all I have to do is push this part out. And when I do that, it's going to create this. And you're going to see now how it fits nicely around that platform. And that's going to work out really well to lock in up here. There's one more cut I have to make on this 2 by 12 so let's do that right now and that is I need to knock this corner off up here so let's take a line again and I'm going to start over here just a little bit when I draw the line so that it comes out here nice and straight and you'll see it shows pink again which means it's parallel to that top edge so I'm going to click here and now all I have to do is push that out and you can see I've got a nice clean corner now that's going to fit perfectly on that platform now the next thing I need to do is I need to move this one that's now made, this stringer that's made, and I need to make a copy of it and put it on the other side. This is going to be a, a little bit tricky, but it's, it's e an easy move. So here we go. First thing I want to do is I want to select it, and I'm going to move it from, it doesn't really matter from which one of these two points I move it, but I'm going to move it over, and if you'll remember, the steps are 36 inches long. And if I move it 36 inches, the problem is it's not going to move all the way over. It's going to move so it's inside of this step. So 36 inches will only get this edge over to about here. So I need to go over 36 plus the thickness of that board, which is an inch and a half. So when I move this, Let's get this up where you can see it a little better. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to grab a corner here. It doesn't really matter which one of the two. And I'm going to start moving it over. Now it's, I need to make a copy, so I'm going to hit control. So there's my copy. And this needs to go over 36 plus an inch and a half, which is 37.5. And you'll see I've typed that in the lower right. When I hit enter, I now have that stringer exactly lined up on that inside edge of that stairway. All right, the last thing you'll notice here is the stairway is not lined up or centered on the platforms at the top and the bottom, so let's fix that part. First thing I want to do is I want to select everything, and there's a lot of different ways you can select everything. I'm just going to kind of use this tool, everything it touches, it's going to select, but you'll notice it missed a few of the steps, so let's do those individually. And I'm holding the control key down, and you'll see the little plus sign that shows up, which means I can add things to my selection. So I'm going to select these last couple items that I didn't get. And the easy way to move this is up here at the top because it's really close to this platform up here. So let's zoom in on that. And I'm going to rotate a little so you can see this happen. I'm going to use the Move tool and I'm going to grab the midpoint of this component. And we're going to move it this way, but I need to line it up on the center of the platform. So I'm going to come up here to the platform and find its midpoint and then come straight down and make sure you're on the z-axis. You'll see the blue line there and there it is. Now I'm dead center on the platform and my stairway is finished. The last thing you've got to do on this is if you want to put some color on the wood you can do that but you also have a little bracket that you have to put under each step to hold the stair in place. And I'm not going to do a video for that but it's basically the same thing as you did with the stairs. You'll create the bracket, make it a component, and create using an array you'll create that bracket all the way up under every step and it's going to be the one that holds the stairs in place. I'll have a picture of that up on the whiteboard so just use that on for dimensions. That's it.